Hello students. Today we are going to learn about our skeletal system. We will try to understand how our body is a wonderful machine. We will also identify different kind of bones and joints and learn about their functions and realize the importance of well developed muscles. So this is our aim in studying our skeletal system. So what is our aim? Students, our aim is to understand our body. Next, identify kinds of bones and joints and realize the importance of the well-developed muscles. So this is our aim. Starting with the lesson, our skeletal system, the topics that we will be discussing today will be basically organ system and the skeleton. And this will be the part one of the lesson. So as I already discussed what will be our aims. So I have highlighted this over again here. Uh, this is a picture of your textbook page that I purposely put so that you will be aware that this thing is also important knowing the aim of understanding the lesson okay while learning or while reading any lesson we have to have a clear aims in our mind what will be our aim in studying this lesson so i purposely put this so that you will identify this particular part in your textbook now compare our body with the most advanced machines that we know like mobiles or computers, you will observe that our body is more efficient than any other machine made by us. Our body performs various functions like hearing, seeing, digesting the food so effectively that no machine can match its efficiency. In simple language, I will say that our body is the most efficient machine that we know. Even we cannot make such a beautiful machine like our body. Organ system. Our body is made up of many parts, each of which performs a special function. The lungs, the heart, the kidney and the brain are some major organs of our body. These organs have to work like a team in order to keep the body fit. For example, if one organ doesn't support another organ, then body will not function properly. It is just like a cricket team. In a cricket team, if some players don't play properly, it will affect the performance of entire team. You already know, you might be playing in teams in the playground and you know if a team member doesn't play properly, then entire team suffers. Similarly, our organs are a team members and if one organ doesn't function properly, then it affects entire body. So, every organ should work like a team with other organs. A group of organs together make an organ system. For example, the digestive system helps in the digestion of food and muscular system keeps our muscles strong and give us strength. In such a way, there are different uh, systems or different organ system. Like there is nervous system uh, and I already discussed about digestive system, then muscular system. Okay, So these are the different systems in our body. Now comes the important part, the skeleton. The skeleton is the framework of the bones. As you can see here, there are different bones around here that provides a protection, it gives our body proper shape and helps in movement also. Like we can walk because of the joints in the skeleton. The skeletal system is made up of 206 bones and includes all of the bones and joints in the body. I repeat, the skeletal system is made up of 206 different kind of bones. Okay, and including all the bones and joints in the body. So these are the different types of joints and bones. Total there are 206 bones. 
the human skeleton is divided into two types the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton what is appendicular skeleton means it is something related to limbs and uh, limb or limbs okay so these are the limbs so that is a appendicular system and another is axial system the axial system includes the vertebral column which is over here and then there is a rib cage over here you already know this then the skull over here and the other associated bones so the vertebral column then rib cage and the skull and all the associated bones with it are the part of axial system then what is appendicular system which is attached to the, um, the axial skeleton includes the shoulder girdle this shoulder shoulder girdle then pelvic girdle okay so this over here this is a shoulder part okay then there is a pelvic girdle okay and the bones of the upper and lower limbs so this is a lower limb these are the lower limbs and these are the upper limbs i repeat what does appendicular skeletal system consist of it is something which is attached to the axial skeleton it includes shoulder shoulder girdle then pelvic girdle okay and uh, the upper limbs over here and lower limbs so this is the part of appendicular skeleton the human skeleton performs six major functions what are they support the movement then protection production of blood cells and warehouse of important minerals so these it it not only protects our internal organ it not only supports the internal organs it not only gives shape to your organ it also produces the blood cells in fact it is a warehouse of different minerals so you can understand how important our skeletal system is now comes the next part which is the skull so this is an image of the skull many times this image is used to scare the children or to scare the people in the scary movies but remember that each one of us have this inside our body though we cannot see it but it is there it is just a part of our body so no need to scare the picture okay so so the thing is you should not be scared of this picture because this is part of our body though it is internal but it is there okay the human skull contains 22 bones so this skull also contains 22 bones out of this eight bones forms a rigid hollow case called as cranium which protects the brain other 14 bones form the face and are called the facial bones and support the eyes nose and mouth so what does eight bone consist out of this eight bones form the rigid hollow case called cranium which protects the brain so this is over here then other 14 bones form the face and are called as the facial bones they support eyes nose and mouth over here then all the bones of the skull except the lower jaw this lower jaw form a rigid structure so lower jaw is not a part of the rigid structure it is movable lower jaw is movable why because it enables us to eat and talk okay so now i am talking because of this lower jaw there is a movement of this lower jaw proper so i can talk i can eat anything so students that was all for today now some homework for you you can try to answer this simple fill in the blanks so these are the fill in the blanks the first one is the dash the dash the dash and the brain are some major organs of our body second fill in the blanks the group of organs together make up and dash a group of organs together make up and dash third fill in the blanks the skeletal system is made up of dash bones fourth fill in the blank human skeleton is divided into the dash skeleton and the dash skeleton so you have to name the type of skeleton and the last one is the human skull contains dash bones human skull contains dash bones here you have to specify the number of bones in the human skull so this is homework for you so students that was all for today thanks for attending this session next time we will be continuing with the same lesson with the new topics from the skeletal system 
So see you during next session. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.